Good morning, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a brand new release, 2018 Panini XR Football. All 15 boxes. Pick your team. Number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. There you go. Big thanks to all these folks for getting to the action. Arthur, last spot mojo with the bolts. And there's everyone else. Thanks, folks. Thanks for getting in. Second XR of the day. We've got one of one of uh, Rick Hunt's friend friends in this break, Ronnie with the Jaguar. So a little, maybe a little new guy mojo for your buddy. I appreciate the recruiting. Rick saying you were oh you were wearing the Jaspie's Hobbyland T-shirt, one of those short printed shirts, ladies and gentlemen. Those, they're not for sale, but you were wearing it at work. A few people got curious. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Maybe we need we need more more people to wear Jaspie's Hobbyland T-shirts to their work. We need to make, we need to order more T-shirts actually. Okay, so there's five, ten, fifteen boxes all right here. All right, good luck everyone. Reggie Brooker is here saying seven months since your last break. Is that is that your confession? That's all right. Welcome back. All right, what do we have? What is this? Printing plate? All right, there's Shaquem uh, Griffin at a 199, and Ryan Izzo at 299. We'll uh, we'll sleeve and top load those after the break. Our shipping team will take care of that. And extreme rookies, carry on Johnson base card back here, and behind carry on my wayward son is ooh James Washington, one of one. Wow. Nice part of the Steelers badge and his autograph. That goes to Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain. With the one of one, James Washington. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Now, there's usually one one of one per case or one big one of one like this per case. This might be it right here. Nice. Strong start. Let's see what else we have. Vaughn Miller. And behind T.Y. Hilton is Marquez Valdez Scantling, triple relic, out of 99 for the Packers. Arthur on the board with the pack. And we've got Josie Jewell, Oppo Joe Mojo, 22 out of 49, Broncos. That goes to Johnny V. And the T.Y. Helens to 199. All right, great start. Next box. Good luck. This is Pick Your Team number two. Pick Your Team three and four are all available in the store right now. JaspiesHobbyland.com. And behind 70 out of 99, Sam Darnold is Mark Walton. Jersey and auto. Out of 199 for the Bengals. Jerry with the Bengals.
Mitch Trubisky. Nice Harold Reynolds with a Star Wars reference. Sterling Shepard reveals a Steve Largent. Nice. Acclaimed autographs. Eight out of ten. Seahawks legend Steve Largent going to John. John Hyanga with that one. Nice one. That is cool. I think one of the few, if I remember correctly, one of the few first ballot wide receivers to get into the Hall of Fame. Behind Sterling Shepard is Kalen Balaj. Rookie Jumbo Materials to 99. That'll be for Donald Brazier and the Dolphins. Next box. Jameis Winston. Does this guy start again this year? That'll be a random. Uh, no, that will not be a random. They're both Seahawks. Marshawn Lynch and Rashad Penny. 17 out of 25 mirrored. Seahawks. That'll be for John. And then behind Cedric Wilson Jr. is Judge Ito Smith. Gold. That card is gold. 3 out of 10 for that triple relic. Chris Parent with the Dirty Birds. There you go, Chris. Steve Freeze, what's going on, man? Not if Fitz Tragic keeps playing like Fitz Magic. How many bad starts? I saw I, this question was asked on uh, on the Deion Sanders show, Game Day Prime, after all the Sunday night games. The, this question was asked. I'm going to ask it to you. How many bad games does Fitz Magic have before they say, "All right, let's put Jameis Winston back in"? How much? How much leash? How much leeway does? Ryan Fitzpatrick have how many bad games does he get before they're like yeah we'll put we'll put Jameis back in two all right behind Mark Andrews is Marquez Val Valdez Scantling ten out of ten all right now what's the bad what's the what's the definition of bad for you like. 250 yards, a touchdown, two interceptions. Is that a bad game? That's a nice out of 10 for Arthur and the Packers. And behind Mark Andrews, caught a touchdown last Thursday. Michael Gallup for the Cowboys. Nice uh, luminous endorsement, 18 out of 49. That's for Arthur and his boys. Oh, so you're just going to go by losses, David? No. Harsh. Two losses in a row, but what if he throws like 350 yards? Three touchdowns, you know, but they lose 28 to 21 or something. He's still out? Two of those in a row, he's still out? Okay, so losses and crappy stats. So there has to be some sort of combination of. But crappy stats and maybe a win, he still hangs on. Yeah, I guess that still buys him time. Landon saying two plus interceptions in back to back games. Chris is Chris Pettit also feeling the same thing as you, Landon. I would say two games with two interceptions uh, or more that they lose. All right. So Fitzpatrick has bought himself a decent amount of time. I think he plays these guys, right? I don't know. We'll talk more about all those games as we get closer to the uh, closer to the weekend. All right, behind Odd and Tate is Ronald Jones the second jersey and autograph, forty out of seventy five for the Buccaneers. Scott with the Bucks. So we'll just leave that right there for now.
Well, def- week one, I definitely was amazed. Week two, I was like, there's no way he could do this again. Could he? And then he did it again to the Eagles. As, as most of you know, Nick Jaspi, my colleague Nick Jaspi, and the boss man are both big Eagle, Philadelphia Eagles fans. And they were telling me that their Sundays were just ruined with that, with that game. All right, we got points here. Um, these will be randomized as one lot, so winner take all on the points. We'll set that aside so we can randomize that. And behind Roquan Smith is Hayden Hurst, triple relic, 75. Rookie triple threats for the Purple Birds, Jeremy, 33. All right, next box. Yeah, Fitzpatrick is doing great. He's got he's got weapons. You know, I mean, maybe. I mean, I don't know. That gets me thinking. Maybe the Buccaneers were this good last year, and James Winston was just that bad last year. That's possible. Probable. Last year was a weird season for the Buccaneers. I thought they were going to take a step forward, a step backwards. I feel like. They should have taken a quarter. Should have taken a quarterback. Oh, Cortland Sutton, Goder, Adam Thielen. All right, and behind J.T. Barrett is Anthony Miller. Nice two-color patch and autograph. Forty-seven out of forty-nine. He caught his first touchdown, I believe, over the weekend. If I'm not mistaken, the Bears. Greg with that one. Some people are believing that Winston is the problem. I don't know if Fitzpatrick is the answer. There's a reason why he's bounced around a little bit. But well, who's saying that he might be the, the greatest backup ever, though? <laughs> All right. Terrell Edmonds reveals a Dante Pettis rookie triple threats out of 99. That goes to the Niners, Victor Z. And behind Terrell Edmonds is Joshua Jackson. 17 out of 49. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Goes to Arthur and the pack. I, don't know, I thought Jameis Winston was going to turn out to be a pretty solid quarterback. That was the first third of the case. Here comes the second third. Um, but I... I think he lost me at at when he, when he was trying to eat W's last year. I think he kind of I think he kind of lost me there. How many great games from Fitz before there's trade Winston talk in the air? I think there's trade Winston talk right now, but they're not going to do it. It's way too early in the season to do that. When's the trading deadline? <laughs> The redemption is Rashad Penny, rookie swatch autographs red. And that will be for John Hyang and the Seahawks. No, I think you're right, Kyle Kramer. I don't think Jameis is the answer that, that the Buccaneers had hoped for. But I guess if, I mean, I don't think they'd, I don't think they'd trade him. You know, I think, I, I don't know if you'd really get too much value out of him in a, in a mid-season trade. You 
and Sam Darnold relic. So I, th- I mean, you know, what if Fitzpatrick gets hurt? You know what I mean? So I think they'll just, uh, I think they'll just hold on to him. But you know, if Fitzpatrick does well, they might sign him for another year. Trade Winston in the off season, maybe draft a quarterback in like the third, fourth, fifth round kind of deal, and see if that quarterback can learn under uh, Fitzpatrick. And we've got Ray Ray McLeod for the Bills out of 199. Alan says James Winston could be an Uber driver. <laughs> and have have his passengers like grope him and see how it see how, see how it feels, James. Taste of his own medicine. All right, next one. That would, that would that would be uh I feel like that would be some sort of poetic kind of just justice happening there. All right, we've got Kike Kuti out of ten. Nice three out of ten. Two color patch for the Texans. Nice one for. It's got the Tehans in this. King D does. There you go, King D. And then we have Rashad Penny. He does autograph things. Nine out of ten. <laughs> he signed these luminous endorsements. So that live Rashad Penny autograph heading out to John Hyang and the Seahawks. All right, Devonta Freeman, Leonard Fournette. We got three out of five, Alex Mack. There's Philip Rivers. There's Kenyon Drake. Who's got the Falcons? Chris Parent with the Falcon center. Three out of five. Three out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And Mike Gasicki. 19 out of 49. Nice four color patch. And autograph fins. Who's got the fins? Donald does. There you go, Donald. <laughs> to a team Jameis Winston up with Michael Vick, says Alan. Oh, Michael Vick has has uh has paid his debt to society though, I feel like. I feel like he he is he has gone on the path of redemption. Worked with a lot of a lot of animal rights organizations and stuff. He's done a good job. We'll see how Winston how Winston does later on in life. Steve Freeze, is that a trivia question for us? What do Troy or are you asking us? What do Troy Aikman, Joe Joe Namath, Joe Theismann, and Bart Starr all have in common? Do they all have? Do they, they all have a Super Bowl victory? Right? Or is that too easy? There's Taekwon Lewis, and Von Miller will reveal rookie jumbo materials. Twenty-one out of twenty-five. Michael Gallup for Arthur and the Cowboys. Uh, Joe Cavan, yeah, we did. I was actually surprised that we did actually pull that one in break one, the Mayfield and Josh Gordon. There's Ronald Jones, the second. 24 out of 49. They all had less TD passes than Fitzpatrick? Does Fitzpatrick have more career TDs than those guys? All right, nice one for the Buccaneers here in pick your team number two. 
And there's Vaughn Miller to 99. So, Steve Freeze, what you're trying to say is all Fitzpatrick needs is like a Super Bowl victory, and then he's a Hall of Famer, right? Hall of Fame candidacy confirmed. Stephon Diggs, MJ Stewart, John Hanna out of 10. Nice, these lower number ones we sleeve up and top load right away. No, you wouldn't go that far. That's what I heard. That's what I'm hearing from you. Hall of Fame for Ryan Fitzpatrick. Marquez Valdez Scanling out of 199. 23, Jordan out of 199. Triple Relic and Auto for Arthur. Arthur with the Packers. Nice. I mean, Eli Manning's going to be a Hall of Famer, right? Two Super Bowls. Two Super Bowls. Two Super Bowl MVPs, I think. And that's Hall of Fame confirmed. Joe Cavanaugh saying, Aidman only had one year of more than 20 touchdown passes. Never would have guessed. I guess I thought he would have more too, but I suppose Emmett Smith ate all of those touchdowns. I know it's crazy that Eli Manning. That's kind of that's all. That's why I always kind of joke every time he I, I see his card, I always say Hall of Famer Eli Manning just because we're gonna, we're just gonna have to get used to that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all right, Taven Bryan, Allen Robinson, and this will be a randomizer between the Packers and the Cardinals out of twenty-five. Mirrored Aaron Rodgers, Josh Rosen. That's why I keep saying it. Just have to get used to it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, behind Josie Jewell is oh, oh, it's a redemption. That's right. Duh. It's gonna be a rookie jumbo swatch autographs red Baker Mayfield, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, going to Nicholas Leslie and the Cleveland Browns. There you go. Good guess, Death Stalker. I think you got it in just before I revealed it. There you go. For the dog pound. Let's let's get Baker Mayfield some starts. It'll be good for the hobby. Oh, that's gonna, I'm gonna save for the oh, let's put this next to the points right there. Uh red must be numbered to forty nine ninety thirty five. I don't know. That's a rookie jumbo swatch autographs. Oh, there it is. It's a different set right there. So they're usually out of 25. Well, that doesn't make sense. I think it's out of 25 because it says parallel cards red number to 75 or less, but Baker Mayfield starts at 25. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. We'll redeem it. We'll find out. Let us know. That's according to CardboardConnection.com. There's Marshawn Lynch. And there's Marlon Mack. Return of the Mack. We got Sam Darnold, Triple Relic. 32 out of 99 for Jeremy 33 and the Jets, Jets, Jets. And the autograph behind Auden Tate is Isaiah Oliver at a 199 for the Falcons. Chris with the Falcons. Nice. Sign your cards, Baker. Todd, I don't know who you're talking about. Who is this Kalil, Kalil Ma Make? Don't know who he is. Todd's saying that 
Kalil Make Mace is a monster. Us Bear fans are very happy with him. Don't know who that is. Never heard of this guy. Sounds like a scrub to me. There's Sam Bradford, Demarius Thomas. And Gilded Greats, Curtis Martin to 99. Did you know that Frank Gordon, Frank Gore, not Frank Gordon, Frank Gore has more yards than this guy? Is he a uh, Hall of, is Frank Gore a Hall of Famer? Possibly. Dylan Contrell reveals a carry on my wayward son. 75 out of 75, carry on Johnson for the Lions, Philip Lee. Kyle Kramer saying, whoever in Oakland didn't want to pay that guy should be fired. So, John Gruden? <laughs> the guy with a 10-year, $100 million contract? Yeah, he's not getting fired. <laughs> not for a couple years, at least. Frank Orr, easily a Call of Famer, says Kyle Kramer. Kal Khalil Mack. Uh, I, how could I be jealous of someone I don't know, Todd? I don't know what a Khalil, Khalil Mack is. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. What kind of name is that? <laughs> it's Austin Pro to 199. Aaron Donald. Are you talking about Khalil Tate from Arizona? Maybe future Heisman Trophy winner? I know that guy. I know this guy, Bradley Chubb, 13 out of 99, triple relic for Johnny and the Broncos. And behind Mike Hughes is Mike White, the Mikes. 22 out of 49, luminous endorsements for Arthur and his boys. Kyle Kramer says, as of now one of the best defensive ends in history, how can you let him walk? Did the Broncos let Von Miller walk? Did the Rams let... I didn't know that, Kyle Kramer. Did the, did, did the Rams let Aaron Donald walk? Those are the best defensive ends I know. I don't know anyone else that's currently active in the league right now. <laughs> I don't know who that is, Todd. Kalil... Ka... Ka... Is the K silent? Hal... Halil... Make? Don't... Don't know that. I know Marlon Mack. I know those guys. Um... Those two guys I know as well. <laughs> and another randomizer. Are they comparing Antonio Brown with Anthony Miller? All right. That's interesting. I, I, I'd be happy with that. So this will be a randomizer. Exactly, Alan Murdoch. Yeah, uh, uh, ca ca Halil Max. It does sound something that is served at uh, at the local tapas restaurant. I agree. All right, there's Derwin James and another Mike White for Arthur and the boys. Thirty-four out of forty-nine. When's when's Mike White gonna get starts? I know you are, Alan. I'm desperately trying to trying to pull a Panther for you. DJ Moore's got to be in there somewhere. Marquise Goodwin, Terrell Edmonds. Yeah, what the hell is going on with the Steelers? What's going on out there? There's Rashawn Evans out of 199 for the Titans. That'll be for Paul Harris. And behind Simi Cobbs Jr. is Carry On My Wayward Son Johnson, Rookie Jumbo Material, 67 out of 99. Lions, Phillip.
Todd, the only the only Mac attack I know is uh is when I attack Mac and Cheese. Craft Mac and Cheese, not not the off brand stuff. You gotta go craft every time. I know Marlin Mac. I know that guy. I know uh, Mac Hollins. Those are those are Macs I am familiar with. Andy Dalton, Sam Bradford, and then we've got Jaleel Scott. Ten out of twenty-five. <laughs> I barely. I'm. I'm. I'm starting to forget about what John Gruden is to Todd. I do know John Gruden for now. By the end of the season, I might forget about him. I know about the return of the Mac when I'm up in the hills. That's right, Arthur. <laughs> Who knows what happens out there? John Gruden right now is like a is like a Back to the Future photograph where the person is fading out, fading out. That's what's happening to John Gruden right now. Ooh, a printing plate. Minka Fitzpatrick. Are they related? <laughs> They're not related. Woo woo four. Buffalo Bills edition of AJ McCarron. That goes to Jeremy thirty three. A one. Of one, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Josie Jewell. And behind Harold Landry is Julio Jones and his buddy Calvin Ridley. The hit behind here is Jaleel Scott, Jersey and Auto for the Purple Birds. 120 out of 199. Jeremy, 33. Three boxes to go. We got another uh, another couple cases in the store right now. Jaspieshobbyland.com, so check it out. There's Devonta Freeman. There's Leonard Williams. And there's, a, there's Frank Gore right there. We were just talking about him a few moments ago. Kyle Kramer says, Joe, if I send you a Cal Halil Mace Bears jersey, will I wear I don't even – why would I wear the jersey of a player I don't even know? What is he, a practice squad guy? <laughs> there's Mark Walton, triple relic and autograph out of 199 I don't want you spending money on the jersey of a practice squad guy. Jerry Bennington and the Bengals. Who's this guy? Why is this guy even in this set? There's Amari Cooper out of 299 and Le'Veon. Out of 99, Rookie Jumbo Materials. Actually, it's not Cleo Max fault. It's, it's a freaking Raiders organization. I should be angry. I'm angry at them. I am angry at them. There's Rashawn Evans to 49. That'll be for Paul Harris and the Titans. Yeah, Oakland's going to go back to rebuild mode for another 14 years. That's kind of what I'm afraid of.
Derwin James and Marcus Mariota printing plate. There's Kyle Lett at 49. Nice. Paul Harris with the Titans. Tighten up. That's a one of one all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. And behind Deontay Burnett is Michael Gallup. Triple relic and autograph to 199. I like the piece of the pigskin right there. That goes to Arthur and his boys. No, I don't think Mariota got benched. I think he's he's got a he's got a bum elbow. And then they had two they had the left tackle and the right tackle out, and they're facing JJ Watt. They figured maybe not risk the health of Marcus Mariota. So no, I don't think it was a bench situation, it was a health situation. Mitch Trubisky, Golden Tate, and Team Trios, Andy Dalton, A.J. Green, and Mark Walton. Man, Andy Dalton and A.J. Green just went off. I think I have definitely underrated the Bengals going into this season. Jerry Bennington with the Bengals. Marquise Goodwin, Sterling Shepard, Austin Prohl, and Marquez Valdez. Scanling Luminous endorsements this time. 44 out of 49 for Arthur and the Packers. Nice one, Arthur. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. All right, there's Aaron Donald. Dalvin Cook, Christian McCaffrey. We got Traquan Smith. There's the Saints. Who was looking for Saints? 60 out of 99 rookie triples. Robert Rohr was. There you go, Robert, on the board. The autograph behind Taekwon Lewis is Lorenzo Carter out of 49. For the New York Football Giants, that'll be for Mark. And the last one, boys and girls, good luck. We've got a few randomizers to do after this. Trey Quinn, Rasheem Green, Mark Schlereth to 49. And the last one here behind Deron Payne is Carrion Johnson. Phillip with the Lions, Jersey and Auto, 85 out of 99 for Carrion, my wayward son. And there you go, folks. Pick your team two in the books. We've got a few randomizers to do. The Let's do the out of 75, then out of 35, and then out of 25, and then the points. Um, the item description says, I think all cards ship. Yeah, there aren't too many base cards, so I think we end up shipping everything on this. doesn't say otherwise. I, know, I swear, I thought it, I thought we were gonna see a panther at some point. Pitt, Chicago, Anthony Miller, Antonio Brown, Frank Gore, San Francisco edition, Mark Walton, and Aaron Rodgers, Josh Rosen, and everyone has a shot at those points. 
And same dice roll for all the randomizers. Three and a six nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Goes to Da Bears. Goes to Greg. Three and a six nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. I almost said Giants. I have baseball on the brain. Uh, it goes to the Niners. Victor Z. Nine out of 35 mirrored. Next one. Are they really comparing Aaron Rodgers to uh, Josh Rosen? Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Stays with Arizona. That goes to David Duffy and the Cardinals. This is out of uh, 25. 22 out of 25. Oh, because they were both Pac-12 guys. Pac-10, Pac-12 guys. One, two, and for the points. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and name on top after nine times is Donald Brazier. A little consolation coming your way, Donald. 150 points. And there you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got a couple more XR football breaks in the store, among other things. So check it out, jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll break more with you next time. Bye.